that represents a reduction from the regular threshold to avoid penalties of paying 90% of what is owed. Treasury had earlier this year reduced the normal 90% threshold to 85%. In a statement, Treasury Secretary Stephen Nookin said his department was making the move to help those who attempted in good faith to meet their withholding obligations. Treasury has said that around 80% of taxpayers will see a decrease in their tax bill this year, while about 15% will owe roughly the same amount. Fewer people are expected to receive a refund this year. Officials point out that doesn't reflect rising or falling tax liability. There has been confusion around the size of refunds, which have varied more than usual this year because of the new Republican-written tax law. After showing declines earlier in the filing season, the average size of refunds now is about the same as last year at $2,957, according to IRS data. Democratic lawmakers had sharply criticized the Trump administration for underwithholding from workers' paychecks, suggesting officials may have schemed to inflate paychecks with the new withholding tables for the tax law, bringing negative surprises in refunds this spring. The Democrats endorsed Friday's move by Treasury. The Trump administration is taking a step to undo the harm the Republican tax law inflicted on millions of families whose taxes were underwithheld through no fault of their own, Senator Ron Wyden of Oregon, senior Democrat on the Senate Finance Committee, said in a statement. Rep. Judy Chu, D. California and Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, DNY, had proposed legislation to reduce the penalty threshold to 80 percent. As tax filing season is in full swing, Treasury's action will relieve the financial anxiety facing worried taxpayers across the country, Chu said Friday. Democrats had uniformly opposed the tax law, which was pushed by President Donald Trump and hustled through Congress in late 2017 to take effect on January 1, 2018. They maintained the sweeping overhaul of the tax code benefits mostly big corporations and the rich.